guys, I'm Atroller, and welcome to me playing Pokemon Trading Card Game for the original Game Boy. Now, the reason why I playing I played uh, the Pokemon game for the computer, and then this one, is so I can, you know, just give you my advice and just tell you how I feel about, like, both of these games. Like, like essentially, whoops, essentially they're both the same game. But in my opinion, I like the Game Boy version like a billion times more. Hold on, I have to lower this. Okay, that's really loud. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. God damn it. Hold up. I keep freaking exiting what he wants to say. It's automatically like on the no default. <clears throat> so as I'm playing, I'm just gonna give you my advice. What I like about this game and the Pokemon training card online that I played before. So the first thing is, this is the music. In Pokemon TCG, there's there's hardly like any music, or maybe there is, but it's just so low, and it sucks. You don't hear that music at all in any of the Pokemon games. It's just like, what what the hell is playing? Like, it feels like you're playing like, like a crappy solitaire game, but it's all Pokemon or whatever. So... So yeah, that's one of the big things. Like if, if if like any of you know me, it's the biggest thing that catches me in a video game is the music. Thus, the soundtrack for the game has to be good at least. Like it has to be good or awesome. Cause that's that's the first thing that catches me. And then I guess I guess it'll be like how the controls feel. Like if my character does what I, I tell it to or move in a specific direction or when I press a button it does it like that it's also then control and then it would be the story because I mean the, a game could have an amazing story but like if the controls are bad I doubt it's gonna like live up to like the people who created it like their expectations or whatever so so first things first this game has the deck that I actually like like in Pokemon TCG Online, it gives me just all these, like, it gives me 5 billion Eevees. Like, I like Eevee, but not, like, there's not a single one. I don't have a single Jolteon card. What is the point of having Eevee? What is the point of me having Eevee if I can't get Jolteon? Like, I remember when, um, I used to have, uh, what is that? I, I, like, I had Pokemon DX. If you guys remember that, it's for like for the Game Boy. It was kind of like a like a really early Pokemon Battle Revolution, but for the GameCube. And it was really fun. It had a story mode. You could run around. You can like there was these Pokeballs that you could like literally kidnap other Pokemon. I don't remember. I like this was such like a long time ago when I um played that. But um, what was I going on with? Oh yeah, when I played that game, my first favorite Pokemon was. It went from Squirtle to the water. What's that water? Um, EV evolution. <clears throat> I don't remember what the name was, but it, it was the water one. And then, like, he was my first like favorite. And then when I found out that um, hold on, what who, who do I have in my in my hand? Squ uh, Squirtle sealing me out. Hmm. Yeah, might as well. Because I can keep hitting him right now if I just share that energy with him. But he used to be my first, uh, that used to be my second, like, favorite Pokemon. And then, when I found out about Jolteon, I, I like, I completely forgot when I was, when, when the, the Water Eevee was my favorite, that Electric types were my favorite typing. So I was like, it would only make sense if Jolteon was my favorite. And also... Jolteon is the only word that rhymes with Joseon, which is my name. Joseon Jolteon. So, yeah, I know, I'm dorky, but <laughs> that's another reason why I like Jolteon. So. Alright, another thing that I wanted to point out about this game is, watch, watch this. Alright, he's gonna use a potion, he's most likely gonna use it, yeah, I knew he was gonna use it on, um, is that Arbok? By the way, I am not knowledgeable in Pokemon. I just only play the Pokemon trading card game, and I've only played Pokemon Diamond. So, <laughs> like, I remember before um, my cousin went to uh, Massachusetts for uh, like with like a few of my family members. Like, right now I'm I'm the only one in the house, 
it's because my cousins and my aunts and my uncles went to Massachusetts to go to a sweet a quinceanera. That's like a, a Spanish birthday for when like a girl turns 15. It's Ariana's ha happy birthday, Ariana. I forgot to point that out. But I remember when uh, Tristan wanted actually me to, to be in episode 10 of Pokey Trainer Tree. But I was telling him, I was like, what do you want me to be on that so I can just get bodied by people online? Because I really do not know much about Pokemon. Like, all I know is you send your Pokemon out, and if that Pokemon is grass and you have a fire, you win. That's how I, th that's how I think in Pokemon. I don't go into the, like, excuse me, I don't go into, like, to the OUs or whatever. Like, I, I don't know any of that stuff. Tr like, it even took Tristan a while to, uh, like, figure all that stuff out. <clears throat> Oh, this is what I want to show you. Look, watch. Watch this. Son of a bitch. Wait. Forget, I'll just I'll just show you in a little bit. But you'll see. But okay, I'll I'll just say it right now. In Pokemon TCG Online, one of the main things was how slow it was. Like look at this. This is turn like what? Turn 10? If I was playing the other Pokemon, for the, like the online version, I'd still be on like round three, turn three, because just everything takes so long to like, just like, just go and do things. Hold up, what did I just do? I wasn't even reading. <gasps> oh my! One of his moves is basically like Gust, kind of like Pidgey has. Watch. All right, what's my attack? God damn it! <laughs> I, what does Meowth have? Cat punch? Uh, I guess. I don't get what that GB means. I do not know what that means. I, I like never figured it out. Um, oh, let me send in G, dude. Oh, hold on. How much does he need to retreat? Oh, sweet. Okay, then I can show it off to you guys. No! Watch, watch this. This is one of the big things that an annoys me about Pokemon TCG. Watch. Okay, starting now. You start the game, right? You're like, alright, I got a G-Dude, and my opponent has Arbok. Grab an energy. Give it a G-Dude. Good. Now, attack. Son of a bitch. <laughs> but, okay. Basically, in Pokemon TCG, I'll give like an energy to like a Eevee or my Psyduck or whatever, and it'll go. And I'm like, okay, now attack. And then it goes, and it makes me look at the card. I'm like, attack. And then I click it again. And then it goes. I'm like, oh my goodness, is that how it's gonna be every time I want to attack somebody and put an energy? As it take an hour. Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy is so much more fast paced. And honestly, more simple. And that's what I like about this game. That's a come I freaking bought like this entire box full of like I have at least poke like a hundred Pokemon cards. And I got all of them in less than a month. Cause I just got so obsessed with this game that this is actually a ROM. I'm not playing this on the actual Game Boy. I doubt there's a capture card for the Game Boy one, but um Alright, I can use Stone Barrage now. But I gotta remember I, for I forgot to show you guys uh, my actual deck I use in real life, and I'll put it right here so I don't forget. But it should it should be showing up on the screen right now. This is all 60 of my cards, which I don't really know why I'm showing you this because now if we ever if you ever meet me somewhere I don't know when the planets align and the freaking moon is blue, will Pokemon battle like? We'll just somehow both have our Pokemon cards with us. And the attack dials. And the uh, quarter. And the map to play on. Then you'll be you'll you'll have the upper hand because you already know what all my cards look like. Alright, I should probably switch. And it killed me. Probably because of the poison. Alright, I should probably start focusing now. But yeah, I just like the this Game Boy one like a billion times more. For multiple reasons. Also, it just feels more, like, classic. Like, like these kind of games are, like, so addicting, and it makes you feel like, man, 
I wish I was like born during this era or during these years. Like this game would probably be like when my brother was like, I don't know, maybe like 12, 11, 10, 13 when he was pl first playing this because he actually had this for the Game Boy. And I actually remember, um, I, I feel like I remember when I was younger, I asked him, I was like, Usito, what's this game? And he was like, oh, you want to play? It's really fun. And he wanted me to play it. Oh, no, it was Brandon. My cousin Brandon had the game. And I was literally, like, so confused because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't even know what trading card games were. But as I started learning about the game, I started loving it so much. And then I finally found a ROM for it, like, online. And I was like, I so gotta get into this. And Squirtle's dead. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking too much. <laughs> it's not letting me focus. I just like to Pokemon. Alright. Alright, what does Rattata need to attack? Ooh, Abra. Like, I remember I, like, got so obsessed with this game for, like, a week straight that I actually bought that original Abra. This original Rattata and that original... Uh, almost a bulb. So that original Squirtle that you just saw, I got all those original because I wanted to feel like I was actually playing the game in like real life. <clears throat> so like I'm telling you, like I like me bringing this up and talking about Pokemon battles and like you know, like dueling. I actually got Trist and Wisito into it again. If you don't know who they are, it's Tristan's my cousin. He's like in most all of my all my videos. And then my brother Juan, in the family, we nicknamed him uh, Wisito. I got him into it too. And guess what he bought? He bought a bunch of Pokemon for himself. And out of my box, he like like picked a bunch of grass types, but I, which I would never even use. I don't like grass types. But we all three of us made our own decks. And now whenever my brother comes over, we all just play Pokemon trading cards. It's pretty fun, actually. I like it. The thing I don't like... Is Trist and Wisito both have Tangrowth. And if none of you look know what the Tangrowth card looks like here, this is the Tangrowth card. Which is seen on the screen. I hope I remember to edit that in. But this literally can hit me like a tank. And heal. So if if you're like me, where I have a lot of like basics and only second evolutions, which aren't even that strong. Tangrowth can pretty much destroy my entire team. That's how bad. That's how like bad. Well, let me. Is there a? Okay, yeah. Slap. I can work. Wait, weaknesses. Oh, yeah, I'll do this one. I don't think he has electric. Also, another thing. That sh the shuffling in this is better than in real life. Because <laughs> we actually have to shuffle them. That's just a little something that I find funny. Oh, frick. He needs two to hit. Oh, and I... Please tell me I didn't give that to him. Okay, good. Alright, so I'm just not going to be able to attack for one um, one game. But I like this so much because it's so quick. And to the point. And there's still some skill to it, too. Like, it isn't just like, oh, I got Abra. Uh, now I can just super sigh everything that comes into, <laughs> into my view. <clears throat> like, it really is like you, you see them. Like, it, I, it, like, you need skill. You can't just press a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Now I can't attack. Oh my god, I, I'm about to lose. Yeah, I think I just lost. He just needs to hit me one more time and I die, yep. Right now, I think how far I am in the game, I think I'd be like only like two of the like tournament people. Like the main, like... Like basically like the gym leaders. That's all I pretty much just beaten right now. And I lost. There's no point of switching because I think that's the last prize card you needed. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, I lost. All right, now let me actually go back into that and not get bodied. All right, and we're back. I just have to skip all that talking stuff and pressing no for the billionth time when you said you want a duel. And then I had to read more. But here we go. Ah, oh, it isn't like the actual TCG uh, thing. He just grabbed seven cards and he had no basics. It said just for him to shuffle back in. But if we were like doing the actual like real world like rules, I would like the game would actually let me draw a card because he didn't have any uh, basics. That's how my brother does it. Why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, those evolutions. Okay, let's see if this will uh, change up my luck. I was I was uh, talking with Tris the other time, and I was telling him, I was like, I wonder which one takes more luck, Pokemon, the trading card game, or Pokemon like the the online like the Pokemon Showdown game that he plays. Which one actually takes more like luck? And I think I think we we settled on what it was. Thank God I have a psychic. I can I can give that to Abra and do Psy Shock. Please paralyze him. But I told Tristan I was like, Tristan told me he said, Pokemon Showdown, or competitive Pokemon that has nothing to do with cards, is 80% luck and 20% skill. I was like, Jesus. I was like, how do you find fun in that? <laughs> like, no offense to like to all like the Pokemon players, which I really doubt that it takes that much luck and that much skill. Because then pretty much anybody can just play Pokemon and win. You know what I mean? If, that, if it's that much luck, then no one even has to try. Because it's like, oh, you have a bunch of le legendaries? Uh, it's okay, I have luck on my side, so I don't know. One, uh, my one-hit KO move is going to kill every single one of your legendaries or something. I doubt it's like that. Like, it, it might just be clutch moments where luck kicks in. But I, I think Trish just exaggerated it too much. But then, I was thinking, I'm like, you know what? In regular Pokemon, you start off the game with the six Pokemon that you chose, right? You get to choose which one gets sent out, and then you get to switch any of you into your Pokemon that you want, anytime you want. And in Pokemon Showdown, you can give your Pokemon specific stats, so if you want your Zard to have full attack and nothing else, he's always going to hit hard. In Pokemon TCG, you can't do that. In Pokemon TCG, you go into the battle with 20 Pokemon in a random order, and you can't switch them out whenever you want. That's that's one of the big things that I like about Pokemon, the trading card game, is you can't just switch out whenever you want. So it'll be like, oh, the opponent's going to switch in a, uh, um, like, Venusaur? And I'm Blastoise, hell no, as soon as he switches in, I'm switching out, so whatever he hits me with, boom. I go to Blastoise and it does nothing, because he was going to do a grass move. In this, you can't do that. You have to be more like, like, you have to think more, which I love about that. Like, you don't just spam anything and switch whenever. I like that about this game. Oh, snap. Hitman Chan already can do Chad? You know what? Let me just let me just take advantage of a uh, Abra for right now. I wouldn't mind if uh, Abra took um if he sacrificed himself for Hitmonchan. If I get another punch, I'm instantly gonna switch out, so then I can just start um what is it? So I can just start special punching like freaking all of his Pokemon, which will do a lot because in this game. You don't have like a like a, a card that heals 60 damage because no one in this game has more than like I don't know 100 counters, maybe, maybe 90 or 80. Ah, oh, I need to, to poison him. No, you can't hit me that much. Oh, he's weak to. Oh, I was like, why the hell does Psychic do 20? It's because coughing's weak to Psychic in this for some reason. I don't know. Mm -mm 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 
two. Damn it. Alright, screw it, I'll just give this to, uh, wait. What does Ghastly need? Ghastly needs one Psychic and, and any energy at all. Hmm. Wait, what does this do? Item Finders. Discard two of the other cards from your hand in order to put a trainer card from your discard pile onto your hand. Hmm. Why not? It's not like a... Oh! Oh, discard pile. I thought it said... Damn it. I thought it said, like, my deck. Well, frick, who do I, who do I give this to then? Is this the one? You know what? I'm not gonna waste anything. I'd rather just do Psy Shock. Well, hoping that it. Oh no! Ah, oh, frick! I forgot. I was confused. What my plan was? I wanted to just end, make him confused, and just wait till like Kadabra came in or a uh, uh, a fighting energy came in, so I can give it to him. Much. But I'll just send him in now. He does 20 damage on his regular move. Don't poison. Tails, 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 mother. You're already gonna poison my boy. Okay, well, it doesn't do that much. Oh my god, that's for the rest of the game, isn't it? Yes! That's exactly what I needed! Wow. Clutch. Now I can freaking kill this thing. Which I didn't even need to do that. Just a regular punch could have done it, but... I was too- I was too excited. I was like, yes! My punch came in. Ooh. Oh! Hey, I mean... Hey, those are the rules! Sorry, Eric Schnurdles. Oh wait, that's the wrong Eric. I can't believe my signed Pokemon deck could lose! Hell yeah, give me that trading card booster pack, which I'm not gonna use. Cause I don't know how. <gasps> Pidgeotto, my favorite flying. Jinx of the racism. Rapidash, the horse. Graveler, the grabber. Krabby, the crab. Weedle, the... The needle? I don't know. Bulbasaur. Gust of wind. Cubone. Well, now that's somebody sounds. He goes, Cubone. I think. Yeah, this is a pretty sad card. Alright, next is... Wait, let's see if I got anything. <gasps> I love God. <laughs> I love everything now. That's actually the card I have. Hold up. I honestly think I have that card in my deck right now. I also have the original um trainer, prof the Professor Oak trainer card. Actually, no, that's not the original. That's just a remake of the other one. Where is it? 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 Oh, that's what I had planned. I have two Jolteons in my deck, right? And I hope to God the rule is you can't have more of three of the same card because what I'm planning to do is I want three Eevees and three Jolteons. Because my chances of freaking sending out Jolteon during, um, like, a Pokemon battle versus my, like, my cousin or my brother is, like, one to nothing. One to zero. Like, just the other, just, like, a f like two days ago, I finally got to send out Jolteon. And it took out, like, a few of my, uh, my brother's Pokemon. It took, like, took down three, because I kept using, like, the strongest attack. And if I really needed to kill it, like, like, clutch, I needed just a few more damage. Uh, if I just removed two energies, it would do, instead of 50, it would do 90. So, that was really helpful. But, um, yeah, anyways, I hope you liked, uh, me playing Pokemon TCG. Thanks for watching, guys.